everybody, welcome back to Dog Place Pokemon Prism last time. We got us a lot of useful things, experience share, we got a badge. And now, I'm not sure where to go, I think Mount Cave had a place where we exited and then there was a cuttable tree. Oh, or we can just go in this Magikarp cave, that works I guess. Are there secret items here? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. We still had a mining pick. Oh, our mining level is level 2. I mean, I'm not too thrilled about that Everest stone, but what can you do? How many mining picks do we still have? One, okay. Note to self, don't... Oh, don't run in case and don't click on rocks when you have a mining pick. So it reminds me a little bit of Cerulean Cave when I look at all the rocks here. Oh, please don't let there be billions of Zubats. Okay, also no secret item here. Maybe here? Nope. No gold token. Oh. Where does this lead? Hold on. North of the cave lies the region of two knots. And why is it donut spelled backwards? You're not strong enough to handle the trainers there yet. Come back when you have grown more as a trainer. Okay, so this sort of leads to a new region, I guess. Oh yeah, I'm running again. Actually, that doesn't seem to be... Like, we didn't run into any Pokemon yet. Is it RG or are there just no Pokemon here? Maybe there are no Pokemon here in that case. Yes. Well, I guess it's a Magikarp cave, so it wouldn't have anything on land then. Judging by how Magikarp are not on land, typically. Oh, but maybe we need strength. Pokemon may be able to move, so we can use strength, at least according to our gym badges, but we don't have the HM yet. Oh, never mind, there's a ladder here. Okay, where do we go from here? Anything down here? Okay, doesn't seem like it. Just another dead end. Oh, there's an item. One heart stone. Oh, yeah, that should boost, boost the power of rock that moves, so let's go ahead and give this heart stone to Larvitar. Yeah, soft sand. I think it's not that useful for Larvitar because I would rather boost its much stronger rock throw rather than its weaker mud slap. Okay, there's a guy there. Oh, we came from here. I realized. Hey, Gremba, are you going to fight me? Welcome! I see you found your way around the sacred fish. What What do you mean? You don't mean the cave? Oh, so you failed to notice how this cave is designed? I've aligned the rocks in here to look like the Pokemon I idolize. Yes, the majestic fish Pokemon called Magikarp. Alright, that's dedication, man. Tales of its past have shown it to be more powerful than it is currently. Oh yeah, I think Pokedex entries actually state that it used to be stronger, but then it kind of lost powers as evolution went on or something. In my family is told that my ancestors would pray to a daily, uh, on a daily basis for the fish to return to its former glory days. What do you mean, Gyarados? Blasphemy! I talk about its former birth form. Okay, you know what? I'm done arguing with non-believers. Hey, sorry man. What's that? The path in the forest is blocked? Is it? I don't remember the path in the forest being blocked. Maybe I have a brain like a magic harp. <laughs> Memory like a magic harp. Aha! You know what? I tell that fellow to move. You complete a small task for me. I have the ability to change you into a real magic harp. Okay, how does this work? Really, I do not lie. In that legendary form, you'll get to experience what Magikarp around the world have to deal with daily. Is it eating rare candies? It is navigating the rapids. Then maybe you won't think they are so weak. Also keep in mind that once the task begins, I will not change you back until you fully complete the task. Do we have a deal? Everything in the name of progression, right? Good, go for it. Well, I'm... I'm really Magikarp, huh? Okay, so I think I remember 
maybe not the solutions of those puzzles, but I remember that those puzzles were a thing. Also, wow, four water stones. That seems great. Um, let's go here. Yeah, and we need to hit these whirlpools. Okay, this brings us down one level or up one level or whatever. Now, not only do we need to hit those whirlpools, we also would ideally like to collect all the items. How do I get to this item? It's also connected to whirlpool. Is it this one? Mystic water. Okay, that seems to be it maybe. It's hard. Sometimes I lose orientation. Like, even in case like Mount Cave, right? So look at this living nightmare. Um, I think there only seems to be one way here. Okay, then. Uh, where do we go from here? I will go down and down again, maybe. A lot of guesswork. Okay, it's not down and down again. Then I will go down and then I will go left. Okay. Okay, down and left is right. I mean, ironically, right? Okay, this leads us. Damn, that is a ro long route around to take. I will go here. And then... So if I go right and down, it's the same result. So if I go left here, it takes me around. Oh yes. So right leads us where we came from, right? Down leads us into this little portal. By portal I mean whirlpool. Then where do we go from here? Left. Actually down and left and up and right. Right leads us on this little patch there. All other ways lead us into the current. So I think right is the right decision here. And then this whirlpool we're facing right now. I think this is the one that brings us back to the beginning. So we don't want that probably, right? So I'll go here. Okay, brain brain starts working. Where do we go from here? Do I just go down here or down here? We don't want to go up in any way probably. Yeah, up in any way just leads us straight into the whirlpool. So we go with the right way or do we go with the left way? Can I see where the left way goes? Not really. Left way could lead into that whirlpool. Right way could lead into this whirlpool. I'll go left. Where does this lead? No! <laughs> okay, it was down. And then we go... Uh, I think left it was. Okay, this takes us the long route here again. Then we just go up. Then I will go up again to that little patch. Take that long curve, I remember that. If my commentary is not good right now, it's because I'm concentrating harder than ever in my life. <laughs> um, let's do this. Okay, we're on the right patch again. Then from here, I went left. Did I? Hard to tell actually, did I, did I go left? Or did I go right? Right leads there and then and dot street. I think I went left. Yes, okay, that leads me to that little patch, then I went down. Okay. Then let me just regather my brain cells here. 
If I go right, that leads to that patch. I think this is where I want to go. That feels familiar. Then I want to go down, I think. Yeah, right just leads me straight to the beginning again. Uh, up leads me around the corner. I think I want to go here. And then... Here? Which one did I go? Damn, I forgot. <laughs> uh, heads or tails? I think I have to go here. Okay, that seems like progress. And then... Let's take a right here, there's a little patch down here. Is this the goal right there? Please be the goal. So I, if I go left, does it eject me into this little whirlpool? Yes, yes. Okay, that seems a bit. And... I'm on another floor right now. There's still this little patch. Yes! That's it! <laughs> we did it, boys! Wow, okay, I feel like... My brain hurts. We're only in 11 minutes and I'm already exhausted. <laughs> There's something different about you now. Yeah, I mean, as a matter of fact, I'm a freaking fish, turn me back, man. You appear to have gained great respect for the many hardships of Pokémon, much like the natives of Naljo do. People who moved here from many lands solely to use their Pokémon as mere tools. You may want to speak to the last remaining descendant of the messenger on Route 80. For you both share the same vision of life with Pokemon. Well done! I give you my permission to go south to uh, south of the Laurel Forest. Oh, and then it just straight up boots us out. Alrighty, thank you. I was kind of hoping we would get like a shiny magic arbor or something. Why am I even healing up? I don't even think we're hurt. At least not physically, only our psyche is hurt a little bit. Whew, that was an out of body experience. I think I need to take a break after this episode actually. Okay, Quilava leading looks good. So this is Route 76, so I need to go into Laura Forest. On the right side was that Clefairy that was acting as a bouncer to that little Pokemon Mystery Dungeon area. It's Flame Wheel, this one. And it feels strange to be fighting now that we were Magikarp for like what felt like an eternity, but in reality, we're only 10 minutes. Is this what hell is like? Do we have a Repel or something? Doesn't appear like we do. Okay. Then let's take one on the chin by this. Oh, I think down there was an old man actually. And he said south of Laurel Forest, so that seems like the right direction. Let me just incinerate this shroomish. Just flame wheel it up. I think now I remember that Elder was saying something like Oh, you haven't recognized the power of Magikarp or the power of the fish or something. Yeah, this seems good. Finally progress and not swimming around in tights. Yeah, I think in the alpha this I just straight up safe scummed that one maybe. Because when you take like one way wrong and then you don't remember then you just get stuck it's like a really pu punishing part of game design actually bronze wants to psy beam sign me up i think this is a little bit stronger than confusion yeah so i will just try to replace confusion here i think okay i think i will keep training bronzer for a little bit longer just because that steel type seems so good to have. Oh, there's more trainers here. I was expecting this area to end. Okay, bring it, boy. Wow, so many bugs to catch here. A man to my taste. A butterfree, okay. 
Let's see whether one flame wheel is enough while I'm taking a sip from my glass of water here. Ah yeah, that feels good actually. My throat is a little bit hoarse today. Ah, Yanma, okay. I can take it, I think. I think that is not how speed boost is what no, that is not how speed boost is supposed to work. He sent it out and it immediately got the speed boost. That seems like hack strategies. Okay, let's flame wheel this one. Get it out of the way. I wonder when Quilava evolves into Typhlosion actually. Because it evolved like Cynical evolved into Quilava at level 14, right? I thought the grass types were the one that evolved earliest. Or am I mixing something up? I don't think I am. Another flame wheel on the Venonet should uh, have a hit level 30. Very good. It's a good place to train too. That is right. Is this tree a callback to Viridian Forest? I would have liked that actually. There's the one tree in Viridian Forest in the beginning. It has, I think, like maybe an antidote hidden on the side of it or something. Man, they deliberately designed this game with so many nooks and crannies for those gold tokens. Gets me every time. Um, another bug catcher. Okay, let's bring it. This forest used to extend even further downwards until they started all the building work on that city. Okay, thanks for the information. Oh, it's Sursk. Man, that's a nice animation again. That is water bug though. Let's still just flame wheel it. It's it's only neutral, but Sursky doesn't have the greatest defenses, I think. Yeah, that was good. And <laughs> it's going for mist actually. Let's go for a cut. Because cut isn't that valuable. And a Masquerain. Okay, now we're not supposed to be worried about the water type anymore since Masquerain set up changes its typing to Bug Flying. I never really liked that. I really like Surskit, but Masquerain isn't really my deal. I wish it was just evolved into a different kind of Water Strider Pokemon. Maybe some gun somebody can put an alternate evolution in a fan game or got behold in a main series game, that would be cool. Because I think not many people like to use Masquerade at all. And in, as a matter of fact, I never met the person who said, I like Masquerade. Everyone just says, I like Surskit. The construction probably scared most of the local bugs away. You sure about that? Is there any item here? That smells like item. No, while Pikachu, I think we already got one, right? Yeah. My memory did not fail me. Actually, I will just run. Because I don't want to be paralyzed, frankly. Okay, Pidgey, you can't paralyze me, so... I have bad news for you. You're going straight up into the EXP grinder. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that looks like an exit to me. Is there a gold token here, maybe? Nope. So wherever they hid this in this forest, they did a good job. Okay, I hope the city is close by, so I'm just going to go out of my way to flame wheel this little Pikachu here for some more EXP. Yeah, that's more than sufficient, probably. No paralysis from static or anything? Nice. Also, why are there no guards in the forest gates? 
Terrenia City. Terrenia City, the region's youngest city, okay. This seems like a secret path to me. A rare candy, okay. Needless to say, I will take it. But no gold token whatsoever again. The prison deaths are making this really hard on us, aren't they? Now let's go to the Pokemon Center first, just in case disaster strikes. The city is still newly constructed. That's why it has so many narrow paths. Nice little bit of world building. Why would the new city get the magnet train? Probably because you don't need to tear old structures down. I never have luck with board games. Like the one in the Pechisi Hall. I always die. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Is there a board game mini game in this? Do you guys know any hack that has maybe... Or I shouldn't say hack because... Game Freak slash Nintendo will not be happy if I use this word. Do you know any fan game that has really good mini games? Like... I was thinking it would be cool to make like... Your standard gen 3 engine game, fan game, and then include um, the, the old Pokemon Game Boy card game as a mini game. That seems like a great idea to me. I don't know how I came up with this or whether I was the one who came up with this. Just as a side note, if you're into fan games, make one. <laughs> Those people in Botan City sure are rude. I collect Pokemon, do we have an execute? Want to trade it for my Drift Loon? I think I have an execute actually, okay, not with me to be honest. It's in my box. Okay, this is where the Magnet Drain is. And by drain I mean train. I'm stuck in Naljo. Bolton City is quarantined and I don't have a pass to get to Johto or Kanto. Are you telling me this? multiple regions in this game? Hello, where do you want to go? Region Johto Kanto? Need the Magnet Drain Pass. Um, are you telling me there's one that leads to Tuna, then Region, we are Naljo and Johto and Kanto. Are there five regions in this game? I'm heavily blinking right now. Actually hook me up here. We don't sell Pokeballs anymore. They don't sell normal repels anymore. I think super repels are relatively good for the price. We'll get a few. And we'll get one super portion. That's a good measure. Construction is on hiatus for now. Good thing. The noise is very annoying. I can relate a lot living on a main street. I just can't make up my mind. So much, why? So little money. Very true. What does this say? Pechisi Hall. Okay. That's interesting. Welcome to the Pechisi board. It costs 2000 to play. Want to give it a go? No? And there's items there? No, it's maybe like a Voltorb or something. What are you? Or who are you? <laughs> this game is just about pure luck. Which is why I always lose at this naturally. Nope, no pity for an old man. You know what? I want to try. Would be nice if there was a rule rundown or anything. 25 rolls left. You rolled to 6. Okay. 500 Poké Dollars. Move six tiles. No, a slowpoke, cool. Wow, level 30, alright. Um, I will use Will-O-Wisp. Belly drum, okay. Can I use 
Pokeballs here? Apparently, okay. I was thinking like maybe it's a simulation or something. Nice! Level 30 Slowpoke! Wow! Also, we don't have to kill it that way, I guess. Slowpoke, the dopey Pokemon. It is always so absent-minded that it won't react, even if its favorite for tail is bitten. Twenty-three rolls left. Yes, roll the die. Then two additional rolls. Cool. Okay. I'm not speeding this up, by the way. It just is like this. The Pokemon party was fully healed. Nice. Another six. Oh wow! The mansion nipped five hundred dollars off of us. Okay. Another six. Oh, there we go again. Wow, okay. There's a lot of water Pokemon here. It intimidates us as well. Let's go with a Will O Wisp. Yeah, I think Will O Wisp is really good here. Uh, should I change Pokemon? Maybe I change into Snow Run. Splash, nice. Okay, what will I use? Try attack, bite, icy wind. Let's try an icy wind first because it's faster, and then maybe I can make it so slow that I can bite it and make it flinch. It's still faster after one icy wind. Okay. I think I will use another bite here. Oh wow, it's way down in the red now. Would be nice to catch this, just saying. Another great ball, maybe. Wow, okay. Guess it's not supposed to be. Hey Bronzor. Oop. Okay then, like I didn't expect there to be such a strong Pokemon here. Trying to learn Confuse Ray, that is useful actually. Psybeam Faint Attack Swift Future Sight. Actually I don't like Future Sight that much. Because you have to wait until it executes an attack. I'd rather be have the enemies confused. Maybe we can burn the enemy, then confuse him. Benjiro's left. Do it. Okay, 500 Pokemon. Currency, Poke Dollars. Okay, that's just a coughing. We can blow that up. No problem for Flame Wheel here. And that board game is actually really interesting. I like that. Oh god, <laughs> I was so sure we would just wipe it out with one flame wheel actually. Okay, good one. 18 rolls left. And there they go, the 500 Poké Dollars. Gained three, uh, two additional rolls, okay. What is this? Uh oh, the game is now over. What? Nice try, come back some other time. Okay, I don't like <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> but okay guys, it's here I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and all the gimmicks going on here. I like the board game actually. I can totally see myself playing this for quite a while in some future episodes. But for now, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time and bye bye.